Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today we're going to talk about the demise of the XFL. That's right. It's gone. Gone. Finito. So I'm glad I got my Defenders hat and my Defenders t-shirt and my Defenders coffee mug while I had a chance to. Right now, we're cleaning the grease fryer. We don't have any French fries today. Okay, uh, then just give me a small order of fries, please. Look, Chief, maybe you didn't hear me. I said we don't have any fries today, so how about something else? So, uh, yeah, it seems that the um, thing that's going around has uh, claimed another victim. In this case a professional sports league so kind of uh it's kind of a bummer you know i was looking forward to seeing more xfl seasons and i really thought that the xfl had a chance to survive but apparently no it did not um so not under these circumstances i mean it may have uh you know, who knows what could have happened if uh, this whole, you know, worldwide pandemic thing hadn't happened. Um, it's not a guarantee that it would have survived, but uh, there were a lot of people that were very optimistic that they had done the right thing and they had the right mix and the league was playing at the right time and that everything was all set for the league to be a, uh, a, a viable long-term league but this really kind of put the damper on that um, because they knew you know they a lot of the owner the team owners knew that they would be operating at a loss and they expected actually to operate at a loss for about three years but um, they had a certain expectation, a certain projection of how much money that they would make this year. And when that expectation fell short by, you would have to expect at least 50%, that was just, uh, I guess that was a, uh, you know, that was a deal breaker. So, no more XFL. I'm kind of sad to see it go. I hope that maybe at some point in the future, uh, people will try another league uh, like that. I think the, you know, I think another league probably should should aim to be, should aim to start a little after the XFL actually started. I mean, I know that there's that gap right after the Super Bowl and before baseball starts where there's really only basketball and hockey going on. But I like the USFL setup where they played during the summer. They played football in the summertime. That gave them more time. They could have more games. In fact, they did. I think the USFL actually had 14 games. And they were able to have 14 games because they had the summer to play their season they didn't have to play it in this little short time frame right after the Super Bowl and before baseball got really going so um, I think that the next league I hope to see another league and I think it should model itself more on the USFL USFL um, that you know it really could have been successful Obviously, the USFL made its mistakes, and I uh, won't get political here, so I'm not going to go into why the USFL <laughs> failed, but if you know anything about the history, you know who the mastermind behind the failure of the USFL was. But I digress. I am hoping to see a, another iteration of some type of football league that plays in the off-season from football. I think that that would be interesting. I think fans want that. And I think that this could have been um, a league that could have lasted quite a while um, if um, it hadn't been for the you know worldwide pandemic. 
Because, you know, even the big leagues, like the major leagues and uh, the uh, and the NFL, if it extends, you know, into the fall, but like in, in the National Hockey League, even those well-established multi-billion dollar leagues are are going to hurt because of this real bad. So you got to figure a startup league that was just just playing its inaugural season certainly wasn't going to be able to survive it. But what do you guys think? Did you like the XFL? Would you like to see another league like it? Um, do you think another league, do you think that a league could survive? Do you think the, the uh, XFL could have survived if it hadn't been for the pandemic? I'd be interested to know what you guys think. But for right now, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.